Hey, what's up everyone? Nesmoji back again. We finally got the Hylian shield. It was very hard won, but definitely worth it. Best shield in the game, in my opinion. And it's time now to go and conquer the very first of the four divine beasts. So sit back, relax, and grab a snack, and let's play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, a couple notes about the Hylian shield, for those of you who don't know. It is quite durable. It's I believe the most durable shield in the game, um, quite difficult to break. However, it is possible, it can break, and so you want to be very careful that it doesn't. So as far as shield surfing and that kind of thing, I like to have another shield on hand to use that instead because shield surfing wears down the durability of your shields very, very quickly. Um, so it's best not to shield surf with the Hylian shield because if it breaks, or if you lose it, like if Link gets hit by an electric arrow, a uh, you know one of the shock arrows, or by an electrified weapon or something like that, and it's not recovered, the only way to get the shield back, you, you don't get it back from the Stalnox inside of Hyrule Castle, the only way to get it back is from a certain vendor in Terrytown for I believe 3,000 rupees. So kind of pricey. So anyway, just a couple tips for the shield. It's a great shield though. Alright, before I go much farther, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We upload multiple videos every week, so be sure to subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload more. This, by the way, is such a great way to get wood. When you come upon these wood piles, just use bombs to blow up the wood. Automatic wood stacks. Especially before we fight this Hinox, because Hinoxes love to use projectiles and clubs in the form of tree trunks. Yep. Just be careful not to wake him up. <laughs> Good thing he's such a heavy sleeper. Pretty sure a bomb exploding would wake me up. I guess the other thing we could do... Oh, never mind, I don't have it anymore. I was going to use pull out my uh, wood chopping axe. There's one back there, but I uh, don't want to give up one of my awesome weapons for it. Collecting wood throughout the game is always a good idea. Because if you choose to do the side quest of Terrytown, you need a lot of wood. Like to the tune of around a hundred cords if I remember correctly. So save the durability of your weapons. Use bombs to collect wood. Here's another little hint with these big dudes. If you have the stealth armor on so where he can't hear you approach, you can climb up on top of him and you can steal the items, the weapons, right off of his necklace. I actually, I've got better weapons than what he has around his neck right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. However, I am going to attack him. going right through him. Glitch. Oh, that one didn't. Those arrows seriously went right through him. Direct hit. Blue Hinox, definitely not the easiest. As far as colors are concerned, there's red, blue, and black. But definitely not difficult either. They do drop valuable loot though in form of monster parts. Including 
including a lot of cooked food. All right. I'm going to mark him. The first divine beast I like to go after is actually Varuta. And the reason for that is because the healing ability that you get from Mipha after calming the divine beast can be quite helpful. I definitely like to have that on hand. The other reason why it's nice to go after Varuta first is that by taking the trail up to Zora's Domain is the best way that I know of in this game to collect a lot of arrows fast. I'll show you what I mean as we do this. All of the Zora around there just tell you to go talk to Prince Sidon, which is right there. Or I should say, who is right there. Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. <coughs> Pardon the entrance, but you are highly an aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk.
creepy. Oh, totally. Sure thing. So like I said, along this trail, there are lots and lots of arrows to get. That's why it's very important to attack the Lizalfos because they almost all of them drop arrows. I'm gonna size down my bow though. I don't think I need one that strong for this area. Nice miss. No, oh, you got me there. Eat it. This also is a great time to catch fish. There are all kinds of fish on the way up to Zoro's Domain. I'm going to be keeping my eye out for a certain type of fish. The hardy bass. I mentioned it before, but they're really, really useful for cooking dishes that increase hearts and also for armor upgrades for a certain armor set. And yes, you can smash open barrels and boxes with a sledgehammer. And you don't need a sledgehammer to mine stuff from ores either. You can use bombs, you can use this dragon bone moblin club, you can use swords and other things. Now, it does do horrendous things to the durability of the other weapons, the sledge, since the sledgehammer was made for that. But it is an option. Look, I'll show you. There we go. Uh, 
Okay. Don't slide in the river, Link. The currents are super, super fast here. Octorox, I tell you. Annoying. There goes one. Two. Gives me something to grab onto so I don't float down the river. Time to fish. Oh, nice! Oh, I thought that frog was going to keep getting stuck. You say, nice, free frog. Oh, it threw that the wrong way. I was thinking I should have noticed how many arrows I had when I started so you could see how many you get from climbing this area. I want to say I've collected at least 25 so far. And of all those fish down there, seeing if any of them are the uh, hardy bass. 
Not those ones. Those are regular high roll bass. The hardy bass has a blue has blue scales and orange fins. And they usually like to hang out near waterfalls at the base. Surprised I don't see any. Those are armored carp, staminoca bass. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. That's all right. Do watch out for falling boulders as you ascend this cliff. Now here, be careful which direction you go. You can go this way, but you'll be met with a bunch or by a bunch of uh, Lazolfo shooting shock arrows. I like to go this way instead. I'll go in and revisit the tunnel later. This way you can get the drop on these Lazolfos sneak strike. So easy. I guess that's stronger than this. I wonder if I could hit that guy from here. Oh, close. It was so, so close. Although I spooked him now. The shock arrow is all foes are down there. Oh, well. Take this guy head on. Or I'll take that guy with a arrow to the head more like. Now here is where your bowmanship comes into play. If you're a quick shot, you can get rid of all of these Lizalfos without them raising the alarm. There are quite a few. He almost, almost blew his alarm horn. So close. Ah, come on, Link. There we go. It's 
hard to tell from here, but they've all got that little horn on the side of the hip. Once he turns, see it's right there. I do believe there's just one more right there. Got him. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Don't forget to pick up all your loot. I get them all. You're the last one, homie. Lizard boy. I do want that honey. I'm fessing around. See, if you head straight through that tunnel, this is where you'll come out, right in straight line vision of that first Lizalfos, and they shoot shock arrows, which, ouch, <laughs> which are definitely ouch. So far, I've collected at least 40 arrows. Nice!
Ah, there's a hardy bass. See him in the water there? Right there. You don't come across them very often, so when you do, you gotta get them. Currents are crazy strong. Now, when you come around this corner, take out those are electric keys. Be sure to take them out before they have, see you and have a chance to fly down and zap you. There's more. I know I'm using a lot of arrows here, but you get a lot of arrows on this path, so I'm fine with that. Yeah! Woohoo, Link! I don't think so, punk. Oh, there it goes. There goes my sledgehammer. Why not? I feel like they need those yellow caution signs. Watch for falling rocks.
Weak. Could smash open those boxes, but let's just get to Zoro's domain. Here's another spot where you want to be very, very careful. There are more shock arrow firing Lizalfos. If they sound the alarm, it could be bad news. So, of course, he kneels down at, or lays down at exactly the wrong time. Bring it on, you. Yeah. Get rid of this lame sauce thing. There we go. Eagle eye. Okay, now, on this bridge, there's going to be another cutscene where Sidon's going to say, You're doing great, Link, hurry up! And then there's going to be a gigantic Moblin that comes behind you. I highly recommend you run off the bridge before you engage the Moblin. I know from first-hand experience, maybe. <laughs> no, seriously though, it stinks when the Moblin hits you off the bridge and you have to run all the way up the path again. He's got that big old club. I one time engaged him on the bridge, fought him on the bridge, and yeah, he knocked me off. It was terrible. Actually, you know, I think this is a pretty good spot to wrap things up for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see you next time.